Today I effed up by accidentally buying 109 pounds of grapes and things just went downhill from there. The store I shopped at last week had a special on grapes, $2 a box. But no way to weigh the boxes, they have the kind of scale that hangs from three chains, and the boxes didn't fit in them. So I got four boxes of grapes. Large boxes, I wanted them to make a batch of wine. For $8 it was a steal. The first thing I did after leaving the store was get the shopping cart stuck in a rut in the parking lot and I couldn't pull it back out. A stranger helped get me out. Then I got home and was able to weigh them. A five-gallon batch of wine uses 50 to 80 pounds of grapes. I had 109 pounds. Oops. Okay, so I hand-pressed the grapes through a rack meant for cooling cookies. Three hours later, I have enough mash to fill my five-gallon fermentation bucket. And there are still more than half the grapes in my fridge. I decided to embrace the EFF up and made jam with one of the cases. I was at least happy to have a reason to use that no-slash-low sugar pectin I bought a few years ago. Four hours later, I got 22 pints of jam. Two quarts didn't fit in the canner, I just tossed them in the fridge with screw-on lids, but the rest is all set for the pantry. But, none of it actually gelled, the direction said it might take a few hours or overnight to get thick, but nope. The pectin must have been too old. It was from 2018. I'm gonna have to unseal all the jars and recook it with sugar and can it again. And I still got like 30 pounds of grapes in the fridge. So I decided to turn my canner into fermentation bucket number two and make five extra gallons of wine with the brilliant idea that I can use some of the ungelled jars of grapes to top it off since I'll be a little short, and that will save me some reprocessing time with the jam. For more hours of hand-smashing grapes, and that bucket's full. Or almost, I do have to top it off with the liquid non-jam jam. I figure I'll start with the two quarts from the fridge that never got sealed, I grab them from the basement. What the EFF, they aren't liquid, they are full-on jelly now. The fuckers gelled up in the fridge. So now I realize I can't use them, and can't use any of the others that are still liquid at room temp, because I can't have my wine gelling up if I refrigerate it. Somewhere in there I realized the store gave me a senior discount for being over 60, which I didn't ask for, and it's not a store with a loyalty card where they'd have my birthday on file. The cashier was just like, yeah, this one's obviously over 60, don't need to card her. I've been 60 for like two weeks. That was especially demoralizing because I'd just been trying on dresses from my closet to see if they still fit, for an event I am going to this Wednesday, and was feeling smug because they did fit, and I was thinking I look good in them, I was specifically thinking I don't look anywhere near 60. Pfft, wrong about that. I look old. I got a call from the event host today, asking where I was. I wrote down the date wrong. The event was yesterday, and I missed it. And I need to buy either more grapes or more juice to finish the second bucket of wine. Too long didn't read, accidentally bought 50 plus pounds more grapes than I needed, everything I did to try to use them backfired, and now I need more grapes to save the ones I used. My ego ended up even more crushed than the grapes after being given the unsolicited old lady discount. That's the end of this story. I hope you enjoyed it. Let's see what the Reddit commenters have to say. First comment. They write math problems about you. Next comment. When I was a cashier, I would give the seniors discount out to customers who were nice to me, just because it was a small way I could show my appreciation and have any control in my day, lol. Probably was that. Another comment. This is 100% the kind of thing that would happen to my mother, who is now 80 plus. And this story has me crying laughing. I can picture all of it. Even better is that she used to make wine and still makes jams and jellies, and I can literally hear her mumbling as she would go through this. Thank you for the nostalgia hit. Last comment. This is a wonderful calamity. But the discount was the real kicker. I'm almost 50, and though I haven't been given a discount yet, I used to get shocked responses from people when I gave my age, which was much older than I looked. At some point, no one was shocked anymore. What can you do but laugh or cry? I prefer laugh, so thanks for sharing this. And cheers.
Thank you for listening and watching. Please let me know what you think about this in the comments. I would love to read about what you have to say. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I have. Please remember to like and subscribe to this channel. Have a nice day.